Hi, it's uh, Dawn here at Stickle Tarn. Um, I'm not, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to dwell on what, what's happening sort of health-wise, but I haven't been too brilliant this past week. Um, I've got a, a cerebral leak, so if you see me constantly dabbing, that's what it is. I've just got fluid coming out of uh, one side of my nose. And this has been going on for a week now. Um, it has meant, of course, that I'm supposed to be bed rest, but there's so much to do and I can't lay around in bed. It just makes makes you feel worse than what you actually are. I don't feel ill. I just have a fuzzy headache. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, I have got, there's such a lot to do out in the polytunnels and the garden this time of year. And let's take the camera off me. Um, and it's uh what are we now first of first of october are we first of october yeah um uh, right yeah first of october and uh and i haven't been in the polytunnel for about a week i've managed to get the other week i've managed to get um onion sets and garlics which are going to be, I'm in uh, the big, mid, the new polytunnel, the, the middle one. Um, so I've managed to get onions and garlics. And um, and I like to get them as soon as they come out into the shops so that I'm, uh, that they're not getting stale and dried out sitting in warm shops. Um, I've also had come some perennial plants which were free. Um, just had to pay the postage on them and so I want to get them potted up and there's um, yeah there's a, a nice little collection in there so, so they're going to get potted up and then probably come the spring or whatever when they're back up again I can um, divide them up and make some new plants um, That's better. I've uh, lifted, lifted the camera down off the stand so I can actually show you better what's going on in this polytunnel. Um, not the sun getting in the way. Uh, Martin has put my edging in for me so I can now define where the growing areas are and where the path is. So, so that's been quite good. So I've just got to get some membrane down in the, the doorway bits. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, and then I can sort out my growing areas properly because even though, yeah, we have been growing and hand harvesting from this new polytunnel, um, all the purple cauliflowers have been harvested now. <coughs> um, yeah, we have been harvesting, um, but the growing was sort of done on a rush to, you know, so we could actually get something from the polytunnel. I've got a couple of... Um, there were spare tomato plants and they were put in here so uh yeah they're um ripening up now there's some little mini pumpkins which are quite cute um red cabbage and um i've got sprouts coming on so so that's quite nice kale these peas i've left to dry because i'm collecting them as seed the other side has all been completely harvested. There's some pop choy there, uh, some Florence fennel and beetroot. Then I've got a lot of weeds there, which I have been trying to make a start at. Um, and I've got more peas coming on there. And then there's still all this area to be done. So um, yeah, it's, it's coming on. We've had harvest from it, which has been really good. Um, one of the main things of this tunnel has been I wanted an area where I could do propagation and planting and seed sowing so that's why we got the benches all down this side of the tunnel and this tunnel being different from the others it's got all the netting around the base which means it's quite a cool temperament in here and, um, and it has replaced the growing beds the raised beds that we had outside so uh, the fig trees that I propagated earlier this year, they've been doing really, really, really well. Um, so I'm quite pleased with them. And 
there's this one which my friend gave me some cuttings of and I think it's called devil's backbone or something and each of these little things that fall off it will form a new plant like you can see down there I can zoom in there's another one growing uh, I'm not really into house plants I used to be but not anymore um, so I don't know what's going to happen to them uh, there's a cinnamon yam which sells seeded from our main one outside and I've got a few grapevines um, and then over here I've got some hellebores some lavender um, hydrangeas these were taken from cuttings and um, oh, the name slips me William yeah they, they were self seeded in the garden so I um, moved them on um, down this end uh, there's still a few um, shrubs here waiting to be potted on so I, I must crack on with them sometimes and I've got some more hydrangeas there to be potted on um, there's another couple of the fig cuttings there as well and um, the sugar cane um, even though it all started the flies it attracts the flies like nobody's business um, it started up to go really really well and I was I really had a lot of hope for it but out of them all it looks like I've only got this one so I'm going to get him potted up and then I shall bring that in over winter um, and I, I shall perhaps order another couple of bits of um, sugar cane because from what I was reading October is supposed to be the better month I don't know why uh, there's some more lavender in there that was cuttings and these were the blueberry cuttings that were taken a month or so ago and there's lots of new top growth coming on them so um, yeah um, I have high hopes for that one so that's roughly what's happening in this polytunnel and uh, I can quickly we don't want to see the other one with all the normal stuff growing in because that's going to be cleared down now. Oh. Um, I've still got little trees waiting to be planted out. I've got so much to crack on with and get done. and um, That's why I really can't be doing with laying around in the house for, for two weeks because it's um, well, a couple of days and it was driving me insane. So in here, this is where I grow all the citrus trees and everything. And I've been using DE powder um, to try and keep the uh, scale insects at bay this year. And so far, so good. So I've been using um, DE powder on them, hence all the white powder. And I've also used it for um, red spider mite. And it's done really well. Now, here are some. Got a little lime tree there that's going away, it needs to be found somewhere to plant. Um, the pineapples I've been harvesting, that's where one of them came from. I've been planting the tops on. Uh, I just want to show you this before I, I finish potting it up. The tops have actually rooted, so I'm really, really excited about that. So I'm going to top that pot up. This one seems to be doing really well as well, and that one was only harvested last week. So I'm hoping to have some new pineapple plants from there. And I've left the um, the, the main part in, in the hope that we'll get some pups growing from the base of it. So uh, that, that's what I'm hoping, um, but we should just wait and see. If we don't, we don't. But um, the pineapples that we've harvested have been really, really nice. So all of the citrus trees have had a sprinkling of DE powder. And yes, it seems to be keeping the dreaded scale insect at bay. I've got to get all these dahlias cut back. 
and uh, and of course the ones that were the worst affected uh, horrible little wasp uh, yeah, I don't like wasps um, and uh, this is my just taking a beastie off there um, edible passion fruit and it was a tiny little nine centimeter plant when I bought it and I've trained it all the way up there it's only I've only had it since the beginning of the year beginning of summer and I want to train it to go across down the center of the polytunnel and even though it is flowering um, it's flowering late in the season and of course I'm not um, not expecting fruit off it this year my little kiwi which I was hoping would have put on a lot of growth hasn't so I'm gonna have to look at that Japanese meddler has put on a lot of growth that's coming on well I've got another one I'm going to try planting outside over here I've got a grape this one is a dessert grape so I'm going to train it to go up and along that side of the polytunnel I've got a Szechuan pepper there it seems to be doing well I've got strawberries waiting to be potted on uh, ginger that's coming on well and uh, yeah so it all seems to be doing fine um, prickly pear looks like it's coming back into flower again even though it's late in the season uh, so, um, the pomegranate here it did flower well I had lots of flowers off it but they didn't um, produce any fruit so hopefully next year we can look at sort of getting some uh, fruit off it well I hope so anyway but I will uh, have a read up over winter and see what we can do to encourage it to fruit right I'll just get on and, uh, and I'll catch up with you all later so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and then you'll get notifications of any new um, videos that are posted. I'm going to be going through all the old videos I've got sitting on my computer and I'm going to be compiling them together and um, sticking them up on YouTube. So if you want to be able to catch up with those all over the next few weeks, then there'll be lots of videos popping up. And I have other videos in the pipeline as well. So thank you very much for watching and I really appreciate everybody who subscribes and comment, you know, please leave us some comments. Let me know what you think, what you'd like to see and we'll do our best to, um, you know, provide what it is you want to see. So take care everybody.